Good morning, good afternoon, and in case I don't see you because you're in a different part of the world, good evening. This is your flexitarian friend, Jay Tanti. Today I'm going to show you a delicious recipe, and guess what? This is for the Salon Master Owner's site, which I want everybody to see. So the other day, I decided that I was gonna show you how to make chicken, fried chicken without any oil. Well, somebody got upset because I put oil on my marinade, which was to stick the herbs. So I decided today, if you want to share this video, you can share it with everybody because I will use absolutely zero oil. But the first thing that I wanted to tell you, if you're a Salon Master owners, congratulations, because really, this is the best cookware that you will ever own. I mean, it will give you, it will give you a return on your investment every single day that you cook on it. And truly, the only people that are are paying for Salamaster are those people who don't own it because the people who don't own the cookware they have to use more oil they have to use more time they have to if a, if a, if a pan breaks they have to go and buy another one a lot of people are using Teflon and they don't realize how much damage they're doing to their health because they're using plastic coated pans some people say oh I love my cast iron pan but did you know that every time that you are cooking in cast iron you're also ingesting that metal people say oh but iron is good for you no not that kind of iron the iron that you need is not a metal iron because that's corrosive what you need is iron from spinach from kale from things like that so from beans but never from a pan so if you really want to take care of your health and have the best immunity ever you have to start cooking with um, better foods and also better cookware. So let me tell you a little bit. I know you already own it, so this is like me preaching to the choir because everybody who's in this private group is already a Salon Master owner. But let me remind you why Salon Master. So the most important thing is why Salon Master is because number one, the product's been made in the United States since 1946. In fact, like the machine itself started to, they, they used to make it in 1946 and then the cookware started in 1947. This is like the seventh generation already of cookware. I uh, can't remember how many times. I have been cooking in Salamaster since 1996. So put those two numbers together. So I'm pretty much an expert at using this cookware. Why I love the cookware, and even though you see the little without the handles, but I love one of these, is that you can have detachable handles, just as easy as that. You can also have, you invert, you invert the, hand, the, uh, the covers on the insides and you never have to be looking for your covers ever. In fact, if you ever wanted to hang them, you could, but you don't have to. Uh, so 316 surgical stainless steel with titanium added. That's that's to harden the surface of the 316 uh, steel, which is a, a the type of metal. 316 is what they make pacemakers from or a hip replacement. So it's very safe in your body. So it's also very safe to cook your food in. A lot of times we spend $4,000 for a stove that'll give us four burners. So that's approximately about $1,000 a burner. Sometimes we spend $10,000 on a stove. So that's about, if it's a six burner stuff, well, you know, you figure it out. It's a lot of money, so about $2,000 for one burner. So Salamaster acts as an oven. Like I paid for that oven at least $6,000 for the for the two ovens. So imagine that, how often do I use the oven? Very rarely, I use it maybe three times a year. But what does that oven do for my health? Absolutely nothing, because whenever I cook in there, it's, it's basically if I'm cooking meat or if I'm cooking something really big, a turkey, something like that. So I don't use it for cooking vegetables. Where there's the cookware, I can use it for cooking vegetables and I can also use it for uh, making meats, making stews, making everything. In fact, um, I wanted to show you one of the pans that I have, which I'm gonna use today is the electric skillet. That can also act as a, um, let me show you real quick, because that can act as a stove. So I'm gonna show you for a second here the pan itself when it's heated okay when it's when it's cold it doesn't have any sound and let me show you right here this is kind of the same pan this is called the electric scale but this is the smallest one they don't make it anymore uh but when it's at room temperature and it's not plugged in as you can see you know i can touch it 
This right here is hermetically sealed, so you can actually, after you're done cooking and it's cooled off, you can throw it in the dishwasher or you can just immerse it into water to wash it off and scrub it. So as you can hear right now, no sound, right? Because the gel it's at room temperature right now so the inside has an oil gel that creates the even heat distribution this one doesn't have any plug so it's already even heat distribution that's why a mini oven you can bake a cake on the top of the stove you can make a lasagna you can make a, a roast you can make anything on the top of the stove so you barely ever will use your oven so as you can hear right now in fact you don't hear anything right so that is at room temperature right now. So what Salamaster did with the electric skillet is they lowered the heat core and they fill the inside. They fill the inside with an oil gel. So at room temperature, this is going to be coagulated. It'll be, it'll be cold. But as soon as you heat it up, you turn it up to 350 degrees, or 450 degrees or 150 degrees, this already, that, that gel will actually begin to liquefy and it heats up and it creates that even heat distribution. So let me show you. So I can use this as a stove as well as I can use it as a pan. So I can cook something on the inside. So if I don't need the whole thing and I don't want it dirty, maybe I want to do some hard boiled eggs, I can just put the inside here, I can put this this pan over here and then just cover it and then do my eggs in there. If I'm just heating up something and I don't, maybe I don't have a stove, maybe I'm renovating the house, this, this works as a stove. Once you're done cooking with your eggs, if you wanna do some rice in here, you wanna bake a cake, you wanna do a casserole, you wanna do a lasagna, you wanna do an enchilada, you wanna do a roast beef, pork chops, whatever you want, uh, tofu, stir fries, you can just, it'll stay preheated already and then just throw the stuff in there and then cover it. So you can do a rice as well in here and you don't even need to use the lid. So let me show you what happened when it heats up. Let's, let me move this one to the side and I'm gonna show you the one that I'm already preheating at 450 degrees. Right now, I'm gonna bring it to here so you can be at a living testimony of something that I discover for you, okay? Uh, many people, many people have never used this as a stove. I actually use it as a stove every once in a while. So if you can see, I have it at 450 degrees Fahrenheit and look what I'm doing. I'm boiling water. Boiling water on the inside of this pan, as you can see, it's just starting to boil. I placed it just before I got you here, so be careful. I should really have the other handle, because right now I'm being dangerous. So let me show you uh, what you can do. Look at the water, already hot, it's starting to boil. So, and also, hear the stove. I'm gonna unplug it for a little bit so you can hear. See, now you can hear the liquefy inside because it's completely even heat. So how do I know that it's completely preheated? How about I throw a little bit of this water And you see this water bead like this? And the water runs around, then you know that it's ready to fry. So just wipe that off. So that's just to show you, you don't have to do the water test every single time. And so the most important thing is you always preheat at 450 degrees Fahrenheit. And then, so as you can see, here's your boiling water already. I can make tea with this. So use it as a stove, use it as a pan. Okay, so now I'm creating this video for you if you wanna share with families and friends because right now what we're doing is instead of going to people's homes, we are doing virtual shows. And in fact, you can join us. You can become a booking partner and earn a lot of free gifts you already own the product. You don't have to buy the product. In fact, if you become a booking partner, you can deduct your product on your next tax season, okay? 
So if you haven't filed your taxes and you bought the scooper last year, you can actually still deduct it on your taxes. So just let me show you from start to finish how we're going to do this. And I'm gonna show you how to make hard boiled eggs without any water because actually you put a little bit of a wet, wet paper towel. I don't wanna you know, mislead you or anything like that. But let's get started with the chicken. Let me disappear for a second and bring the chicken. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna start right from the beginning, you know? So I just went to the store, I grabbed my chicken, put it in a bag, and now I'm going to take it out. Because normally you should not, normally, it's not normally, that is the truth. I used to study hospitality management and you're not supposed to wash the chicken when you get home because you spread more bacteria that way. So what I'll do is, I'll pull it out as if you just came from the store, I grab my electric skillet, I preheat it to 450 degrees. You can preheat it for 10 minutes if you like to be on the safe side or you can preheat it for five minutes. I prefer to go in the more time because the more time it's preheated, the better it is. Like an oven, it's super hot. So now I'm gonna take my, my chicken and okay, so I'm going to open the chicken and now what I'll do is, in the same pan, I am going to add just a little bit of sea salt and pepper. So let me get the salt. So we'll put nothing on the chicken, so I'm just gonna turn it right here. And before I turn it over, I want you to see what's happening, okay? Very important for you to watch from start to finish because I want you to share this, this this video with all your families and friends. And if you want to become a booking partner, you can actually just use this video and show it to your friends and ask them, you know, if they prefer to cook on this or they prefer to cook in something else. Uh, let's turn it to the other side. And now let's add a little bit of sea salt. If you're not in, if you're in the no salt program, you can use no salt at all. So now I'll take this off because, you know, I touched the chicken. Just salt and pepper, and then just before I serve it, I'm going to add chili and honey. So it's gonna be like a honey garlic or sriracha chili. Okay, so now, so I have my chicken, you know, as if I just came from the store, and now I'm going to bring my electric skillet right here, and I'm going to preheat, it's already preheated, so now I'm just gonna put the chicken bone side down, okay? bone side down first. There's no oil, none on the chicken, none on the pan, and you will see how much oil we will have after you finish. Make sure that you really press the chicken really nicely, and honestly, to tell you, really my preference is to put a little bit of herbs on the, on the chicken with a little bit of oil, but because I'm showing you with absolutely zero oil. So now, as you know, I like to I like to use herbs that are antibacterial, antifungal, antiviral. Um, so uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm going to add these little herbs. So this is a natural anti-inflammatory. This is called rosemary. So I'm just gonna put it there so it'll flavor the chicken. And this is called thyme, which is very good for respiratory. Um, in fact, thyme has an oil that is distilled from the herb itself that is called thymol, and it's very good for when you have too much uh, coughing going on or your lungs are, are not feeling well. So now what we do is um, to, to prevent the chicken from splattering everywhere in my house, so what I'll do is uh, I'm gonna put a piece of paper towel. You don't have to do that. Uh, but I, at the beginning I do because the chicken, all the skin is gonna splatter a lot. If you are if you are against that, then, or because you don't have a lot of paper towel, you live in a country that does not a thing to do, then let's just cover it, okay? It'll, just leave it like that. Don't do anything, just keep it there. And in fact, I'm going to bring it to here so you can watch it for me while I'll show you something really important, okay? So that's your chicken, it's cooking right now. Um, let me, uh, 
I have it too close, so maybe I'll, so you can watch that. Okay, so that's the, the electric skillet. So now the next thing that I'm gonna show you is a hosting gift, something that you can get for hosting. So talk to your dealer, whatever you are, because you guys are in different parts of the world, every single distributorship has their own. But if you're in Southern California, then I can help you to get some of these gifts, okay? And the first gift that you can get is the Salad Master Machine. And let me, talk, let me show you why this pen, this thing is particularly important, is because uh, the Salad Master, like I say, it got the name Salad Master because it makes salads. This started in 1946, and uh, by the, uh, the person who discovered the, I guess the inventor, you should say, is it was Harry Lemons, and he's the one who, after he saw a lot of success with the Salamaster machine, they started to produce, in 1947, the Salamaster cookware. So, um, so what you're gonna do is with this, I'm gonna show you a couple things, why it's so important to cook with Salamaster, because um, if, like I said earlier today, if you're not cooking in Salamaster, you're throwing away your nutrition, you're throwing away your time, and you're throwing away your money. So my job is to teach you how to prevent from that happening. So if you were to do this at home, let me show you what happens when we cook with water. Earlier today, I was telling you, water doesn't cook our food, does it? No, it doesn't. What cooks our food is the heat, because if I just simply put water in this pan and don't apply the heat, it's not going to cook. So the most important thing is for, for, for what the water does, it surrounds the heat around the food so it'll cook evenly. So if you notice with the Salon Master, it's all one piece, even though there's several layers, they're multi-layer, you'll have only one piece even heat distribution. And so you rarely need to use a lot of water because every time you cook, like say potatoes, you wanna do a, like which today I'm making like a huge potato salad. If I put a bunch of water and then I put my potatoes, then I drain the, the water, that's the nutrients, that's the vitamins, that's the minerals because they're all water soluble, so we're throwing them away. And so, but today what I'm gonna do when I do my, my uh, potato salad, I just put a little bit of water, just enough to rehydrate the potatoes, but not necessarily to create the even heat distribution. For that, I have the pan already. In fact, you can even bake a cake on the top of the sto stove here without even using any oil on your cake. You just use vegetables, you don't use any water, you just use vegetables, egg, and we already have the even heat distribution. So I don't need to put it in the oven, I'll just do it on the top of the stove. So it saves you a lot of time. 15 minutes, 17 minutes, even 20 minutes that takes you to bake that cake on the top of the stove, it's a lot less than 45 minutes in the oven. Every time that you turn on the oven, it's like turning 100 light bulbs, you know, in your house. So if you have like 100 light bulbs of 100 watts, that's 1,000 watts of energy that you have to use every time that you are baking a cake. So that's for 45 minutes. So if you're using more time, then it's even more. So that's the one of the benefits of the 316, the even heat distribution, the detachable handles. Why is it important to have detachable handles? Because every time you have your handles and if they are kind of, you know, if you have them on the stove and they're like this and a child passes through, guess what? They might drop this and maybe if it's liquid, they might have it all over their body. So for safety reason, we have decided to make it detachable just with the touch of a button and then you can take them off. The product, the other thing that I love about Salamaster, it has a lifetime warranty, not the lifetime of yourself, but the lifetime of the product. As long as the product is around, we will warranty for you. And not me personally, but the company itself, since Salamaster has been made by Regal Wear, a company that's been in business making cookware since 1912. So it's, it's a company that stands behind the product and we are in over 50 countries worldwide. So wherever you are, we're in Africa, we're in the UK, we're in, we're in the Philippines, we are in, on the islands, we're in Central America, we're in South America, we're everywhere. So um, like I said, I love that's part of the warranty. And then the other thing is, this little thing here is called the vapor valve system. This vapor valve activates at 185 degrees 
which is high enough to kill the bacteria, low enough to preserve your vitamins and minerals. In fact, chicken, the minimum amount of, of, of uh, temperature that you need to cook it is 185 degrees to kill the bacteria. So, but when it comes to chicken, there's nothing to kill other than the bacteria itself, which we should. That's 450 degrees. But when it comes to the vitamins and minerals, you never want to cook. You will never want to boil. You never want to steam because every time that you boil, it's like you're sterilizing the food. Do you remember when we used to sterilize our baby's bottle? What temperature did we turn it on? That's right, 212 degrees Fahrenheit. So imagine uh, steaming is 232 degrees Fahrenheit. So, so which one is hotter, boiling or steaming? Yes, steaming is a lot hotter. So when people say, oh, I don't boil my food, I just steam them. Well, whenever you steam them, you are burning them from the inside, from the outside in, which you're doing a lot more damage, okay? So with Salamaster, you just put the, if I wanna do like peas and corn or carrots, I can do three pans, three vegetables in one pan. I turn it to medium when the vapor valve clicks at 185 degrees Fahrenheit or when it's hot to the touch, I turn it down to low. So, um, so what happens, how do you lose the nutrition in the food? Let me show you. Very simple, if you can do this, you can do this test at home. You take some carrots, and I'm just gonna chop it up because I'm gonna show you, this is something really important that people don't know about it, because even when, even when they have Salamaster, maybe they didn't have a proper demo, maybe they didn't understand, maybe, maybe you bought because your friend told you it was great, but maybe you still have it in the box because you don't know how to use it and nobody's ever come to give you the service. Well, this is why I created this group, the Salon Master Owners Group. So I can answer all your questions. This is not a Salon Master Inc. group. This is my group that I created for all my Salon Master Owners that they can come to here. And every once in a while, if somebody has like a great recipe, I like to share it. I never let any spam to go into this group because I respect you all. I respect you all and I want you to stay here in this group for as long as you can and share my recipes and eat them and try them and do all kinds of things. So look at what happened when, when you put just water in a vegetable. Okay. So this is the carrot. So this is happening every single day when you don't have salamaster. You, it's you're, you're throwing away your nutrition. So check this out. So I'm just gonna add a little bit of water. The rest of the water I'm gonna add it to my, I'm gonna make eggs. Okay, so check this. I'm gonna put it there for now. So normally you stir your, your vegetable, maybe, maybe not, but not even 30 seconds in the water. I just wanna show you here. Not even 30 seconds in the water. Have you ever cooked carrots? And after you cooked your carrots, look like this, your water? And then what did you do with that water? you dumped it down the drain. So you see folks, it doesn't take a genius to realize the importance of nutrition in our body. Even through all these times that are challenging, nobody's talking about the most important thing for our body is nutrition, nutrition, nutrition. If you have an, a very strong immune system, you never have to worry about taking any drugs. For 20 plus years, more than two decades that I've been using Salamaster, I have never taken a vitamin, I have never taken a mineral. I don't take any type of soup supplements, why? Look at my skin, look at my energy. You've seen me, I can cook for four hours and yeah, sure, I'll get tired, but the most important thing is health. You cannot buy health, you make health. It's important for you to take care of your health and that's the reason why I'm sharing this with you because you need to show this to your friends that every time that they cook with water, every time that they cook with high heat, every time they are destroying the nutrition on their food. So what makes better sense? 
buying organic foods and cooking them somewhere where it's safe, where it retain your vitamins and minerals, or buying organic foods and throwing them in a Teflon pan or throwing them in a cast iron pan or throwing them on some sort of microwave. Or, no, it doesn't make sense. You don't get great health like that, okay? So I'm here to show you. So if you were to taste this before I put the water and I, and, I, and I urge you to do that, you'll notice that this is much sweeter. Once you put water and you taste this, you'll notice that it has no taste. You know why? Because Dr. Mayo from the Mayo Clinic says, the colors of our vegetables are the vitamins and the flavors of our vegetables are the minerals. You cannot take vitamins without the minerals. You need both. So the only way that you can retain that is by using a better form or a better vessel to cook our foods. And it's not in a plastic bag. It's not in a microwave. It's not anywhere else other than the Salamaster Surgical Stainless Steel 316 Ti Cookware. So let me show you, before I make the salad, I wanna show you the, the chicken. So, so far you've been watching the chicken without any oil. So whenever you are going to fry chicken, never use a fork, always use the tong 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 so you don't, you know, poke it. So check this out. Look at how it's starting to look. Absolutely beautiful. Look at that crispiness, okay? So at this time, I'm not ready to flip it because I really want it super crispy fried. So instead, what I'll do is I'm gonna take a pan and I'm going to show you how to make the eggs without 12 eggs without any water. Well, you can use a little bit of water, no water, but my recommendation is, if you wanna have the perfect eggs, add a little bit of moisture, okay? So what you do is you take a piece of paper towel, again, if you don't wanna use the paper, paper towel, then just put about, I should say waterless eggs, how about that, to so be politically correct. So we're gonna use like a half, like a half an inch of water, or you can get this completely wet. So let me show you, just like this. So you'll just have enough moisture at the bottom. And then I'm gonna take my eggs, and we're gonna put 12 eggs. I'm gonna need this for my, um, for my um, potato salad. And by the way, how do you know if an egg is cooked, just in case? When you do this, if the egg doesn't spin like really fast, that means that it's not cooked. But when it's cooked, it spins super fast. So I just wanted to show you just in case some of you were going like, hmm, I wonder if they're already cooked. They're not cooked, trust me, okay? So now I am going to cover it and I'll show you, I'll move the camera. And so, since I am the camera person and I am the, the cook, too. So let's put these eggs right here, but this time make sure that we watch which burner we're doing it because guess what happened last time I burned my cutting board. So there's the eggs. There's just the front. Yay. We're good so far. So for this now we don't have to do anything. I wait till this is medium. And when I can no longer touch it here, it's gonna be hot to the touch, it'll be 185 degrees Fahrenheit. So just let's just let them cook in there until we are ready to turn it down to low. Once you turn it down to low, when it comes to hard boiled eggs, soft boil, give it 
seven minutes, hard boil, give it at least 10 minutes, okay? And then turn it off, take them out. If you don't plan on taking them out right away, then the most important thing is turn it to medium. When the vapor valve clicks steady like this, okay? You're gonna turn it down to low, leave it for five minutes and then turn it off. You're still gonna have fantastic, beautiful eggs without the purple ring around the egg yolk, okay? So now let's make the coleslaw, uh, but before we make the coleslaw, I wanted to bring to your attention um, the electric skillet. Let me clean this up a bit. That way we keep it consistently clean. And then we're gonna bring the skillet one more time here, and then we're gonna flip the chicken. So let's come to here. And so we got Got this part there. So just flip it to the other side so we have this beautiful color, crispy skin. Take the herbs from there because it already served its purpose. If you notice that they don't, they don't want to come out right away, do not disturb, okay? And so now, you're gonna let them fry for another 10 minutes, check that out. And it smells wonderful. So now you'll see how like once it's on the skin side, it's gonna even distill a lot of oil. Make it leaving your chicken nice and crispy. Okay, so this hasn't really clicked completely. It is trying to click, but never mind on this clicking because it's not clicking steady yet, okay? On the electric skillet it's clicking, but I don't mind, I'm not gonna turn it down too low. Keep it consistently to 450 degrees so you can have like a crispy fry style chicken. So, now let's put the, uh, the, the machine here. So, the machine is a gift that you can, that you can get by referring people for us to do a virtual show. So if you see a show like this, this is kind of like virtual, but what we do is it's not a public, this is a public virtual show, but the other show that I do in people's, basically in people's kitchen from my kitchen is when I do it a one-to-one. -one. So if you wanna know how to get the, the Salon Master machine for free, or if you wanna get one of these gourmet skillets for free, which I absolutely adore and love. I have six of them. Then you can send me a private message because a lot of times, only if you're in Southern California, please, uh, because a lot of times, you know, people, they, they want to know the prices and then someone else is answering. I tell them, hey, wait a second, that's my show. Okay. So if you, but if you do want to uh, refer some people let me know and then I can give you all the information privately so you, you can decide whether you want to get this for free so this has a lifetime warranty and you can get it through me or through your closest distributor okay so to make the coleslaw very very simple while the chicken is frying we are going to take um, a couple things here And also, by the way, I'm gonna show you how to clean this stove super easy. So that, that electric skillet worked as a stove as I showed you earlier. So the honey and the sriracha, I will not put it in yet because I wanna make sure that is the chicken is completely cooked before I add all that stuff, okay? So let me show you the different, the different cuts even though I prefer to do like my, um, my um, coleslaw, I'll, I prefer doing it like just with two cones, but today I'll show you the different cones so you can understand. So here's the number one cone that you can use for ginger, for garlic, for carrots, for, for uh, nuts, for chocolate, uh, for crackers baby food this is like the number one cone this is absolutely amazing for cheese grated cheese parmesan cheddar cheese for nachos 
this is amazing. So that's the number one cone. Then uh, this right here is one of my favorite cones. It's a number two cone. Super easy to use this machine. All you have to do is, you see this is counterclock. This is, I mean, this is clockwise. This is counterclockwise. See that? That goes backwards, that goes forward. So to, to put the cone, you see that little hole in the middle, you need to fit it in there and then just turn. And you see how it's on? So that's the number two cone. To take it off, I hold on with my fingers and I go backwards. I don't yank it, I just hold on to it, okay? So number two cone, then this will be amazing if you're doing your coleslaw, it's the perfect, it's the perfect cut. If you're doing uh, cauliflower and you're doing the cauliflower rice, this is one of my favorite cones to do this. So we're just gonna cut this on the number two cone because this is my favorite cone of all the cones. This is the cones of the cones. The cones of all cones, it's the number two cone. I use it for a lot of stuff. I use it for making um, uh, zucchini noodles, the zoodles. This number two cone is the best. Every single cone has a number on right here, on the back. If you look close, you will actually see what a one, a two, a three, a four, a five. So, okay, so just press it lightly when you get towards the end. Don't be in a rush. By the way, it's super simple, easy to clean. Any big chunks like that, take them off. So I'll stick to the number two cone still. Now I'm gonna put some purple cabbage so we can get even more nutrition in here. So you can have a delicious lunch in 20 minutes, much faster than going through drive-thru, much faster than standing in line, curbside delivery, much faster than having somebody deliver you the food. This is like super fast, super delicious, super easy. And of course, it has your love. Okay, as you're getting closer to the end, just feed it, but being careful, slow down. Again, big chunks, take them off. Okay, so let me show you right here. This is clicking, clicking steady, and it's hard to touch, so I just turn it down to low, and I'm going to count five minutes, and then I'm gonna turn it off. So back to this. So number two cone, by the way, so let's take it right off. Before I change to any other cone, I'm going to use the number one cone so I can get the zest. See, if you ever wanted to do lemoncello or if you wanna do some grating for your cakes, you know how like, if you want doing like a pound cake, you can do oranges, take the zest of the orange here. This is the most amazing, adventurous machine ever. And you don't need to plug it in, so if you ever have no electricity, you can still make a delicious salad using your salad master machine, okay? And so the last one, um, I'm gonna show you a couple little cuts on the number four cone. So if you are in the Philippines and you like delicious, like, um, pancit, I love pancit. This is the number four cone. It's great for cutting the cabbage more in a lengthwise. But look at this also great for doing cucumber sandwiches. Or if you're very tired, you can put it in your eyeballs. See, that's delicious, okay? That's number four. If you wanna add some delicious onion to this program, I just cut the onion into four, and then, then just put the onion towards over there, and look at this. That's beautiful, so if your children don't like onion, they let them pick them out, okay? So that's number four cone. Um, if you wanna use the number five cone, actually number, I should've done the number three cone. This is if you wanna do like melon. Look at that, beautiful, okay? Fruit salad, that's a beautiful cut, okay? And then, of course, if you want to impress your mother-in-law and you're doing cheese and crackers, 
There you go. Or you're making sandwiches for the kids or you're making apples. Look at this beautiful ridges. It's just the perfect thing, okay? So, and if you want to ever juice, then come back to the number one cone, which is right here. Number one cone, and then take your lemon and cut it into fourth. Cut it into fourth, and then just place it like that with your fingers on the top over here, your thumb on the side, and then just press with the palm of your hand and look at how much juice. See? And then I can just hold it with my, my finger and my thumb. All the juice is taken out. See that? Press. And it's okay, you can leave the seeds in there because the seeds will help you get rid of parasites in your body. So there you go. And then number two cone, I'm gonna bring it back. It's like I say, my favorites are the number two and num number one I use a lot. And number four too, by the way. So I'm just gonna add my, the rest of my cucumber. Okay. So now I take this, since I'm done with that, to take it off, count the clock, to put it on clockwise, okay? So now we take this out of the way. And then I'll show you how to add the, uh, the rest of the ingredients for the salad. Sometimes I feel tempted to cook more stuff for you, but I know I'll be here all day long and I'm making chocolate today, more chocolate. I already made about 200 chocolates, so I'm in chocolate mode today. Okay, for the, uh, for the, dre the dressing, we already have the lemon in there or lime. This is for your coleslaw. Then just put one, Two tablespoons of uh, organic mayonnaise. You can use veggies, which is made out of just vegetables and no egg. And then mix it beautifully. See, normally I don't put rounds on the on my coleslaw, but I put the green and I put the cabbage, the green cabbage and the red cabbage and the carrots. And also to this, you can add some little caraway seeds, so you can add dill. But see, you have a gorgeous salad. Okay, you see that? And now, if you wanna dress it up really beautiful, we're gonna grab a plate. And by the way, this chicken, look at this. I'm gonna move this for a moment. Just so you can see the amazing chicken. It's fully cooked. So this was zero oil, okay? And you will see why when I like to put my marinade, I like to put the oil is because it's much crispier when you just put a marinade. And so I want you to see the difference, okay? The skin is so crispy. I want you to see it. And it's very moist. See that? But like I said, for me, I like to put turmeric and I like to put all kinds of things. Okay, look at this beauty. I still put the herbs and I put rosemary on this one so you have a nice delicious flavor. And look at all the grease at the bottom. 
So you see, that's normally we would eat that ourselves. So if you want to make it a little bit delicious, even more delicious, I have sriracha here or sambal. And then I also have honey. This is the only time that I add the honey now. I don't add it before. And then I'll add a little bit of soy sauce or tamari. And now you cover it and turn it off because the, the honey is perfect for building your immune system, but once you cook it, you, you lose some of those properties. So what I did is, I just add it now, so it'll create a really nice honey glaze on the chicken with a rosemary taste to it. And then I'll show you how to set it up. So right now, the pan is off. My, my, my um, eggs, I'm going to turn them off and then I'll show you how to plate it at home. So now to plate your chicken, very simple, you're salad master owner, you're in safe grounds here. Take something like this, something like this. If you don't have this at home, you can actually open a can Tell your husband to cut it in half, but there's like, you know, the cans from uh, tuna, like a tuna can, and then open both sides, wash it really good, take out the paper, keep it clean, and then just use this as your mold for molding rice, for molding uh, like an avocado, like toast or whatever you like. So what we'll do is you put the mold on the plate. I hope you can see that. Yeah, you put the mold right there. And then you take your, this is um, your coleslaw, making sure you don't drop any in there. Sometimes I like to do like pokey like this, where I put avocado on the bottom, and then I put pokey in between, then I put rice and uh, that sort of thing. It looks absolutely wonderful. When you serve it, people are like, oh my gosh. Okay, so keep it there for a little bit. So if you were doing several plates, do the same with everybody. Nothing more beautiful and something that somebody took the time to make it beautiful, right? So we appreciate that. And so now what you do is you take your chicken And look at how beautiful. Okay, I can just turn it over, get it glazed up. One piece. You know, I want some of that honey in there. Two, and let me show you how easy it is to clean. So I'm gonna take these two pieces and I'm gonna save them and savor them for later. And you go, oh, is that easy to clean? Yes, ma'am, yes, sir. Take some of the sauce. If I was doing like a wine sauce, I could just do that. If you're serving it with rice, look at how beautiful. And to wash your skillet, super simple. Just add a little bit of water. In fact, maybe a little bit more. If you find that if you were doing like pork and like something with a lot of honey and sugar, then make sure that you turn it back on for like a few minutes. If not, just let them sit there and I'll show you in five minutes how it just simply cleans off. So to finish up your plate, 
So you have it right there. And then you pull this up like that. And if you like, you can serve it with a couple of slices of lemon. That's if you like. That way your family, your friend, this is like a really nice uh, meal without all the carbohydrates or anything. But look at that, beautiful honey glaze, chili, fried chicken without any oil. Like zero, zero, zero oil. Well, folks, I hope that you learned something today, especially this, how to retain more nutrition in your body by cooking without water or by cooking with less water. How to retain, how to avoid heavy metals in your body by cooking in a healthier way, by staying away from aluminum pan, from cast iron pans, from thin, staying away from ceramic pans and, and Teflon coated and that sort of thing. You ultimately, if you really want to be wealthy, you need to be healthy. You cannot achieve great wealth if you don't have your health. Look at what happened, you get a flu or a fever or something, all of a sudden, you cannot go anywhere. So our greatest of wealth is our health. And I am here teaching it to you absolutely free. You don't have to buy anything. You can just host and earn some extra gifts. And so the fact that you're already a Salamaster owner, that says a lot and I congratulate you. And I praise you for continuing to be on this journey with Salamaster. The only thing that I ask is that if you love this show, please share it, have a timeline, and have a uh, watch party in your own timeline so other people can benefit from seeing this amazing, beautiful way of cooking with Salamaster. So thank you very much. I trust that I inspire you all today. This is your flexitarian friend, Jay Tanti. Until then, have a happy, healthy, and wealthy day. God bless you. God bless us all. Ciao, gorgeous.